You know, yesterday we played again the clip of Rich at the Bobby Valentine press conference, and out of that, some people in the the lodge, the local media, were like tisk tisk. The shock jocks are at it again. People were coming up to us and telling us all these things we got to watch out for. All these, I mean, it was really like you know, I thought about it yesterday, Fred. Who did I meet when I got married? But there was a, the Pope. Yeah, the Pope. I, I'm not joking about this. We have a family member uh, who's a priest, and when I got married, I was going on our honeymoon to uh, Rome, and our priest hooked it up, so we got to actually have the priest, or, or the Pope, bless my wife and, uh, and my marriage. So we actually, Pope John Paul, before he died, we walked up to the Pope, and he touched our heads and blessed us. All right, pictures there. I had less instruction as to what to do when I met the Pope than what to look out for when I went to Fenway Park and interviewed Bobby Valentine. They well, told me one thing, and that was, okay, when you walk up there, don't bend over because he's frail and you might fall into him. Just kneel. That was the. That was it. That was all it was. Well, but we had Shaughnessy and everyone in here telling us all this crazy stuff. All right, so you heard all that yesterday. Now, in fairness, I had... Two local guys text me and say how much they enjoyed the bit, and I had one national guy tweet me and say how much he enjoyed writers, the bit. Writers, journalists, R- right. writers, sports writers. Yeah. And Rich, you had some people. I, I had I had some other uh, uh, local people, and then they're all. I mean, these are all people that you know we joke about being members of the lodge, but they enjoyed it. And to be honest, there were only really two different people that I got a reaction from that was extremely negative. I've and I've been I've read myself being called a dink, a buffoon. Right. And then but this is what Rich sent to me last night and this is a station in New Hampshire. Now they used audio of me ranting yesterday. Yeah. And uh, this guy's name is uh, Matt Perot. Yeah, Matt Perot is his name. And he is on a uh, New Hampshire radio station, an ESPN affiliate. I want to give him credit. At the beginning he he has a big disclaimer. He sets it up saying that listen, I may work for ESPN. I may uh, work for WEI on the weekends, and I might be good friends with Gordon Eads. He's on our show once a week. He's even uh, done special favors for me. This is what he said. And he sets it up that way. Just so you know where Sports Talk Matt is coming from. That is his Twitter handle. Sports Talk Matt. Sports Talk Matt. So Sports Talk Matt is uh, got some things to say. Good for him. He's going to throw it back in the face a little bit. I like it. Right. Going up against the system. And this, is, this is the Lodge Farm he's, League. He says Go he's for speaking it. for Eads who can't speak for himself. So here is this guy. Let's hear what he has to say. So this morning, when I heard 98.5's morning show, Toucher and Rich, who were a bunch of sports yahoos, very good at being yahoos, but they're yahoos. Yeah. Bunch the yahoos over there with the clowning around. This is sports. Take it more seriously, bunch of yahoos. I'll, I'll be honest. That is, that is some... F- Boy, people like Felger, don't they? Yeah, this is a Felger impersonation. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> right. I mean this is... This is the, boy, they, they, people like Felger. Yeah, Felger, who, by the way, thought the whole thing was very funny, too. But this is uh, this is the Felger impersonation. But nonetheless, good Shut for up, this Yahoo. Guy. Let the tape play. Okay. I, well, I'm a Yahoo. I got to stop it every now and again. Very good at being Yahoos, but they're Yahoos. All right? They do bits. They're really, really funny. All right? And sometimes you're stupid about it. And sometimes you wind up saying something really, really stupid because you're being stupid. <laughs> The morning show sent one of the guys, Rich, who, whose last name I'm not even going to shirt leave, whatever you how, how you say it, sent all him right, stop, stop. By the way, to that is that is a very large thing to say. It's yeah. the Rotillo, Rosillo. Right. 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 It, it, this guy's it, washing it, dishes at the lodge. He's learning some things. And by the way, at the end of this, he does talk about how like he like listens to us and he knows who I am. And he's told his friends like a thousand times, like, well, you know, uh, Rich, blah, blah. This is a gentleman who knows my name. Right. But you're a Yahoo. But yeah, but I'm just, you know, I'm just. You a, do uh, bits. Yahoos. <laughs> as opposed to most radio, which has to have no comedic bits. We do these little bits when you should be breaking down the blocking schemes. Sent him to the Bobby Valentine pregame, pregame, not post, pregame <laughs> press conference. He also tried to get into the locker room, but he couldn't do so because he didn't realize that when the Red Sox give you a, pre- a press pass, only certain members of the media are allowed into the locker room. Beat writers. So when you're just, I don't know, a Yahoo, they don't let you in. Are you a media member? Sure. Media members can be Yahoos, but Yahoos aren't allowed to go into the clubhouse. Yeah, you're not a beat writer, super cool Fonzie type. <laughs> So they never let any radio guys in the clubhouse at all. Which, well, by the way, I think right. I have clubhouse access Certainly not now, the Yahoo right? ones. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Yahoos. That's right. So, so that's Rich's first mistake. 
He now, this know, isn't the post-game press conference. Yeah. This is the one before yeah. where there's certain ways things are done. Yahoo. But he had a chance to go into the Bobby Valentine press conference. He describes it as a 20-second lull in which nobody is asking a question, which is really not that abnormal. If you've been to press conferences before, it's really not that crazy for the subject, whoever it might be, to sit down and certain media members are going to either wait for the, a senior member to ask a question or somebody says, hey, Bobby, what about tonight's starting pitcher? You know, what do you, what do you expect out of Lester tonight? Or, hey, Bobby, you know, the Yankees are in town. A bunch of New York media is here in the room with us. You know, what do you think? So that's how Sports Talk Matt breaks it down. You start with a conversational piece, asking him how he's doing. Hey, Bobby, listen, there's a bunch of New York media. Look at him here. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think of these guys, these jabronis from New York, huh? Bruce, you know, these young. guys are all Yankee fans. What do you think? Sports Talk Matt's been, this ain't his first dance. Sports Talk Matt knows all about the silence. The silence is there. It's not so crazy. Yahoo. Rich, you should have gone in there and really started off with, hey, there's all these New York media in here. What do you think? <laughs> hey, Bobby, what do you think? Sky pretty blue today, huh? <laughs> Let me hear that last question. Just scroll back just a second. Sports talk, Matt. Or, hey, Bobby, you know, the Yankees are in town. A bunch of New York media is here in the room with us. You know, what do you think? <laughs> Unfortunately, Rich decides to ask a question that was posed to him by one of his listeners. Now, the question in itself is not a horrible question, but in the context of that place with New York media there and the fact that you're not exactly a guy that shows your face all that often and you're asking a question that you know is provocative to steal a line from Bryce Harper, it's a clown question, bro. <laughs> Sports Talk Matt is a hipster. Oh, my goodness. Sports Talk right. Matt knows you don't start off the press that conference. Is, that is, uh, you know, yeah. we hit it out of the park to steal a line from Bryce Harper. It's a clown question, bro. It was a clown crest, a question. You should have asked him more about, hey, you're playing the Yankees today, huh? Hey, Bobby, you know, the Yankees are in town. A bunch of New York media is here in the room with us. You know, what do you think? See, Sports Talk Matt's been around the block a time or two. <laughs> That's the kind of hard hitter you let. You tell him an obvious thing. You ask him a question about something obvious. So, Bob, you got a white shirt on today? <laughs> Sports Talk Matt. Sports Talk Matt. <laughs> you don't start off with some clown question, bro. Brosif. Sports Talk Matt. Coming at you. Laying down the rules. Sports Talk Matt comes in. Hey, Bobby, you know, Yankees are in town. A bunch of New York media is here in the room with us. You know, what do you think? <laughs> That's at least the appropriate way to start things off, according to Sports Talk Matt. But Sports Talk Matt shows his face around there, you know? It's stupid to ask that question in that spot. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I bring this up because of what was said by Toucher and Rich when Bobby didn't take the bait. And it was not Rich, by the way, who went off. It was the other Yahoo. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, no. Now that's an attack. Hey, that's a on. personal attack. Are you saying I, I couldn't stick up for myself? Oh, man. Rich was in there with a napalm question of, <laughs> how do you think you're doing? <laughs> it was, and then when Bobby didn't take the bait, we were left to look at each other and say, what to do? What do we do, Sports Talk Matt? Hey, call us. And I guess what? I'm going to ask Bobby Valentine a question. Like there's some sixth grade girl waiting for a boy to ask them to a, to a dance. Gordon Eads has been covering baseball in this town, in this market, for 22 years. So while he was popping zits, Gordon Needs is covering the Red Sox. Oh. And you're going to call him a condescending what? Prick. I mean, you've got to be <laughs> off your rocker because Gordon Needs actually wrote something about what you did. I've worked in other parts of the country mm. where I wasn't from there. Mm. And I've made big time mistakes because I pointed out things that I was ignorant to. And if there's one guy you don't go near in this market, in my opinion, it's Gordon Needs. Gordon Eads is above you. <laughs> Gordon Eads has more class than you do. <laughs> Yahoo! This is in case you didn't know the rules. Sports Talk Matt knows the rules. He was covering, he knows he's score. had the same job since you were sperm. <laughs> Sports Talk Matt bringing the heat. Good for Sports Talk Matt, baby.
Sports Talk Matt's got it all figured out. He's going to give the audience a lesson, an entertaining lesson on how you handle these things. Do not cross. Don't be a Yahoo. Do, do not be one of those. Yahoos. <laughs> Don't be a Yahoo. When Gordon goes to the ballpark tonight, someone's going to ask him a question. <laughs> someone's going to go, Gordon, it might be the New York media, because the New York media wrote about it. They're like some idiot from Boston was asking Bobby Valentine, should he come back? Again, the question, it, I don't like the question. It's a fan question to what a fan would ask, and it's from a fan. But if you're going to ask it, one, you don't ask it first. No. Okay? It's no, just, no, no, no. That's a sin. That's a that. sin. You don't ask no. that first. How, how dare you wait through that 20 seconds of uncomfortable silence? Yeah, ask him about playing the Yankees. And, huh? Right. What do you think? You think of these guys here? What, 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 what do you make of these? What, what do you make of these suckers? Let me check the room for Yahoo's. Let me get my Yahoo detector out. It's just stupid. Let the thing warm up a little bit, all right? <laughs> Take the girl off to dinner first, okay? Take the girl off for dinner first. So the idea is Bobby V shows up to a press conference. Take him out to dinner verbally. Right, you know? Maybe rub his shoulders Give him a, a reach bit. around. <laughs> Maybe rub his shoulders. Let him know you love him. <laughs> That's the way it's done yeah, do in the Boston fe- sports media. Just get, do a little feather dance. What? what was that? Show a little leg. <laughs> so, he goes, you got to take... He goes, you don't ask that question first. You got to take the girl out to dinner first. In theory, you, this would be if he was dating. Right. It's just stupid. <laughs> Let the thing warm up a little bit, all right? Take the girl out to dinner first, okay? Then identify it as Bobby... I host a radio show. I have a fan who asks a question of us to ask a question of you. Would it be all right if I ask you that question? Get permission. If you're in the media in a tough town like Boston, always ask permission. Hey, Bobby, mind if I ask you a question? Here at this press conference? <laughs> Would that be about... Hey, is it cool with everyone? I'm just some Yahoo, but if I stand up here and ask a question to the Bobster, take him out to dinner first, okay. Bobby, you look nice. You got nice eyes. Knowing that it's not from me, said media member. I'm not this stupid. I'm going to actually ask it because I'm, gonna, I'm a media member. I'm not a fan. I'm a media member here representing my audience, and my audience would like to know the answer to this question. Not out of the gate, and the Yankees are in town, and the full media of the, of the Yankees and the Red Sox are together. There's a lot of people in that room. This is not a one-on-one interview. This is a lot of people are around, and you're asking him a question of, you suck. The fans think you suck. Why should you come back? Again, Gordon Eads wrote about you. Just take it and leave it alone. I'd be thrilled if Gordon Eads wrote about me. (laughs) I'd be thrilled if Gordon Eads would write about me. I'm the man in back. Again. Rich, I'm just... I'd be thrilled if Gordon Eads wrote about me. By the way, somebody says I should go there and ask those exact questions word for word. Well, then you wouldn't be such a Yahoo, <laughs> at least. Go, I should go in there and save s- it for the one-on-one interview. I, sh- I should go in there and say, hey, Bobby, you know, the Yankees are in town. A bunch of New York media is here in the room with us. You know, what do you think? <laughs> I think that everything is okay. I would like him. I'm the living in the be back. I'd be thrilled if Gordon Eads wrote about me. Oh, I'd be thrilled if I could have an apple. Just take it and leave it alone. I'd be thrilled if Gordon Eads wrote about me. Just take it and leave it alone. <laughs> you Seriously. can write about me any day you want. Because you know what? If you want to compare hits on a website, go compare ESPN Boston traffic to CBS Sports traffic. And ESPN is the number one website in the world. Yeah, it's bigger than <laughs> Yahoo or Google or anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least in, at oh, least oh, with, with his, his <laughs> Stratomatic pals. Oh, sports talk, Matt. I, I have to give him a lot of credit. Hey, the man hit. You brought up. the heat. You brought the thunder. And you know what? It came out with the timely references. To steal a line from Bryce Harper, it's a clown question, bro. Yeah, bro. All right, so there you go. Sports Talk Matt. You can follow him on Twitter. And uh, let's just say lesson learned. Touch her and rich. And next time. a bunch of sports yahoos. (laughs) (laughs) As opposed to me who's doing everything right. I'd be Sport- thrilled if Gordon Eads wrote about me. <laughs> I'm doing it all right. The silences, the inane banter before we start talking. Again, all these Gordon things. Eads wrote about you. <laughs> yes, he did. I never what? felt so special. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Don't attack Gordon Eads for anything, even if you feel you've been wronged. The man mm-hmm. has been covering the team for a long time. And it was not Rich, by the way, who went off. It was the other Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> so you're apparently supposed to slink off into the night? With yes. the tail tucked between well, your legs. Is sports that... talk Matt has put the has put his foot down, and that is very that's okay. a that's a minor league logic. That's a kid that's going to be doing some things around town. Well, so maybe he's got it, the right attitude. Already is, Fred. Ex- already is. Expect the hard hitting questions. Maybe I should just transcribe them. And... Hey, Bobby. You know the Yankees are in town. A bunch of New York media is here in the room with us. You know what do you think? <laughs> that's a great question, Sports Talk Matt. That's right. how you loosen them up. It's not a clown question. By the way, Sports Talk Matt thirty five. 
Been sure. around the block a time or two. Mm-hmm. Shirt lead, Guys, whatever you, how you say it. All right. Uh, well, that wasn't a great Felgren impersonation. If we ever want to play a prank on him, we 